we need to have an ID because we are going to use the ID to call the validation group validations. Let's use a unique ID here. It will be form validation group ID. Then we don't need that because basically this valid attribute will hold the result of the validation group if it is in a valid state or not. We can use that or we can use the ID and call a function. So the example here in the cookbook is declaring the valid attribute with the group valid observable and then it's not using that. Instead they are using the ID to check if the validation group is valid and if so it returns true. Otherwise it will show the messages and it will put the focus in the first input that is not valid, in this case the first name. And then it will return false so we can have this valid or not variable. So you can use the group valid to know if it is valid or not and use for instance a knockout observable or you can use this check validation group that I like to use. I am using that since the version 6 I guess. So I'm used to it. Let's use it. Let me remove the valid as we are not going to use it right now. Let me build that function as utility function. So inside the util score we will also have the check validation group that will receive an ID an ID and then it will return true or false so in your create button in the function we are executing what we want we want to call the core utils dot check validation group with the ID validation group ID how I called it form validation let me yeah I, I declared it and this returns if it is valid or not so this is how you can know if all the inputs are in a valid state or not and then you can have this kind of validations if valid we will say alert I am going to save if not we do nothing because it will focus in the first invalid zone. Of course we need to include the import for that module that is the OJS validation group. OJS validation group here and now we can see everything. If we click on create it will automatically focus the birthday. There is an error message and let me check if you are using the message custom yes so the message custom are also connected to the validation of course there is only the error one so this message custom attribute holds an alert message and this one an error message as you can see if i press create the validation group detects that we have two types of message custom one is an alert so it's everything okay but we have an error message so it will detect that and it will be invalid and will focus the input with that error message the same will occur if you have here our validation not the the message custom attribute but the the, the validators attribute being used with a validation from oracle jet if you press create let me click outside so it's not focus we don't have uh, the cursor here but if you we press create it will if we have everything in a good state we can put a create and we'll say I'm going to save of course you can put every field as required or you can also after validating the the group validation so if it is valid you can also check 
in the same if or inside let me put inside so we can clear that later you can check if you have the value for the input first name value so we only we will only save if the validation group is valid and we have the first name value if i select a birthday date everything is fine we press create and it is doing nothing because we don't have the first name if we fill that and then create it will save so we have this approach or use the required attribute here and we can remove that because as the value is not filled when we press for some reason it's not required where i put input first name oh sorry i need to save the html file of course so i have a birthday when i press create enter a value because it is required we can have these two different approaches or we can have a mix of them it's up to you if you don't want to use the check validation group you can also look for all of your inputs and use the document.get element by id.validate that returns a promise and then you can use the promise all to put all the the resulting promises in an array and then wait for the promise to resolve and if they are valid or not so you also have a different approach if you don't have a validation group you can also call the validate function as we did here so this event dot current target is an element and then that element we can use the validate function so in this case we need to validate we can do something like document dot get element by id and then the id this dot input first name id dot validate so it will return a promise that you can hold inside an array and wait for that to resolve for example or if you only want to validate this one we, you don't need to put it in an array you can just use the sync await keywords to wait for that to resolve let me change yeah let me put almost everything as required the age is automatically and the country as well so if i click that you have two messages so you should have at least 18 years old and you also need to enter a value and this one also required you need to put some values here of course five characters it's too much let me let me look for that we can have like three or two to imagine a person with only two letters in his name so john last name and then if i create it will uh, show this error so i need to have an higher value let me put 80 my country portugal porto and then i need to have this birthday and if i press create i'm going to save this is how you can have buttons and how you can interact between the buttons and the inputs also use the group validation you can for instance in the buttons change the um, the colors using some oracle jet classes or even your custom styling let me show you here so i want the call to action chroming let me open the chroming so chroming refers to borders and background of the button we have several examples with borders without borders with some colors push buttons danger buttons so call to action chroming borderless 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 outlined call to action we want this chroming attribute and then in our create button there is the second one we will put that chroming and you have a button with different color so you can play with the different settings you have to build the the custom buttons you want let me put it as a danger button to the reset so we can have some coloring 
and now we have a reset and a create so reset resets and create tries to create and validate also our inputs